Today is Tuesday, September 3rd, 2019. I'm Casey Moulton here with Mr. Diplock. Good morning. Mr. Diplock, we've had a lot of changes this year, some of them planned and some of them unplanned. So the computer situation. Mm -hmm. Us students have been hearing a lot of things from each other that may or may not be necessarily true. So if we can hear it from admin directly, what happened with our computers? Well, we do know this, that, uh, that the computer system was um, infiltrated by someone. We don't know who. The police are involved, law enforcement, uh, federal authorities, and so they're still trying to figure out exactly um, who that was and what happened. And they have spent, obviously, a lot of time in the last, what, 10, 12 days working on getting those fixed and repaired. And we just got good news today that all the teachers are going to be getting their devices back today, which means for you guys as the students that uh, next up you'll be getting your, yours this week sometime. So yeah. do we have a date for student devices yet? We don't or? have an actual date. We actually meet every uh, first day of the week, Mr. Wilson, you, myself, and Mrs. Doobie, and talk about um, you know the week what we're going to do for the week so we're doing that this afternoon so we don't we don't exactly yet so we'll know as soon as they're in our hands you will know you will hear my big mouth on the on the announcements at the end of the day as soon as we know something yeah right. yeah so i did notice that they're testing the wi-fi this morning when will the wi-fi be back for that everybody? is a question i honestly don't know because right. i've been in my office all morning dealing with kids so i have i have, oh, okay. did not know that yeah all right yeah. so we'll know when you know that's exactly right i'll know when mr wilson even knows all right yeah so another change we've had this year has been the lanyard situation. Right. What brought that change on? Well, I mean, I think for obvious reasons, uh, having your identification and knowing who you are and knowing that somebody doesn't have one on, that we know that we need to talk to that person, making sure they're, they should be on our campus. Um, and I think over the years, as you guys are growing up in the generation of, of unfortunately, school major shootings and incidents, um, again, it's just another upgrade to what we do at the school, which is security. Is it the end all answer? Casey? No, it's not, right? I mean, I've talked to many, many kids over the years in classrooms about to prevent things like that from happening, it's usually someone talking, right, and saying something, or if you have a feeling that things aren't well, that you, you let somebody know. So um, our hope at the Lanyards is exactly that. Teachers know if somebody doesn't have one, they'll have a conversation with them, just like any of my security team would. Um, so that's, that's the main thing, and it makes it consistent um, on all three high school campuses, and then it's just preparing for what's next in the real world, which many of your jobs, especially mm -hmm. if you work at large corporations, you're gonna walk around with a name, a name tag on or a badge on, yeah. That's, that's been my mom's answer when I've yeah. complained about it this whole yeah. time. Yeah. Um, is there a punishment students can expect if they're not wearing their name you know, You know Columbia High School, and you guys know me. I hate to get into punishment mode. Um, what is going to happen in terms of punishment will be a conversation with the student and then their parents. Um, I mentioned at the grade level assemblies, if it is something that people don't want to do and I talk with a parent, I don't think you're going to have a parent who says that we don't want our school to be a little bit safer. Mm -hmm. So that, that's what's coming down the line and if it just becomes a defiant thing, um, unfortunately you might have to pick another school to go to. Hopefully it doesn't come to that and, and again, we're not asking for anything major to occur other than have something visible. Yeah. Are there any other school safety changes coming down the pipeline this year? Um, at the moment, currently, no. I mean, I think our school overall, right, we, we have people visible with our safety team. Uh, we encourage kids to, when you see things that just don't seem right, to let somebody know. Okay. Same with the teacher. Anything that doesn't seem right, you can't get out of the classroom, you call down. We have procedures in place uh, for those types of things. Will the new lanyards and uh, required identification change how we get into school events or sporting activities? Um, currently, no. Um, depending on what happens with technology over the years and myself doing research, there are schools that actually, with your, device, with your um, identification, you can scan into a building mm -hmm. or getting to places so it does know. So if you left campus for lunch and we had all the doors locked, you wouldn't be able to get in unless you had your device. So we'll see you down the road with technology as we continue to think about things that are going to you know, um, improve safety at our school. That would be something to think about. Technology and, of course, funding. Yep. Uh, so uh, yeah. on a more positive note, we have Cat Blast coming up this Friday. Yeah, we do. What can yeah. we expect? Well, we can expect uh, a lot of fun. I remember we did this last year for the first time in terms of when we did it, mm -hmm. which was we changed, right? We used to have it before school started, and uh, just because it was getting early to school, we just didn't have a lot of participation. Last year we did it for the first home game. Mr. Stoppenhagen runs it, yeah. and um, with a lot of help from people, that it was we, we had a good turnout last year. So they'll have, they'll have trucks out there with the snow cones and – all the other different things that Mr. Stoppenhagen has planned. And um, we just, you know, we want to get everybody. It's a cultural thing where come out and support the football players, but just be being a Wildcat. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Mr. Diplock, for bet. joining us today. We yeah. really appreciate having you here. So we will see you guys again tomorrow, hopefully with a show. But for now, live the Wildcat way. That's right.